Good morning. Today we're going to talk about something called deal migration or vertical migration. And what we're talking about here are the smallest of marine organisms. So we're talking about plankton, specifically phytoplankton and zooplankton. So these are microscopic, right? These are teeny tiny, but they form the basis of the food chain. Now the difference between these two, just the basic difference here, phytoplankton, phytoplankton are like little plants and they go through photosynthesis. So if they go through photosynthesis, that means they need the sun. So obviously you'll find phytoplankton fairly close to the surface where light is penetrating through the water, right? At the very surface uh, waters, that's going to be the most light, but you can still go down, um, you know, 50 meters or 100 meters and still be getting some sunlight down there. Now zooplankton, they're different. Zooplankton, these uh, don't go through photosynthesis. You can kind of see in the image here, they look like little shrimp or little crustaceans, and they eat other creatures. So they're like most of the other animals that we think of. They'll go around eating phytoplankton, so they can eat these things. They can eat each other. Um, or they can eat little bits of um, detritus, dead, uh, dead clumps of cells, things like that, that are already in the water. Um, when we're talking about these plankton, and especially the zooplankton, which we have down here, this is zooplankton, microscopic, but it looks like a shrimp, right? Um, it's important to remember that they cannot swim against a current. They're so small that even though they can swim through the water, they can never swim fast enough with the current. So can't swim against oops, the current. So they just go where the current's going to take them. They don't really have a choice there. Um, even a very slow moving current is going to move faster than these guys can swim horizontally. So um, I mean, things like when I say horizontally, I mean swimming up the coast through the waters from Monterey to San Francisco. Okay. Uh, they're going to be influenced by the currents. Now, what they can do is zooplankton can travel up and down the water column. So they can go from the surface, right at the, where the ocean meets the atmosphere, and they can travel down, they can migrate down to very deep depths, like a thousand meters deep. So zooplankton, can travel up and down. And what we see with the zooplankton, not so much the phytoplankton, which you see here in green, the phytoplankton stay near the surface, they need the sunlight, but the zooplankton, what we see is at nighttime, and the moon's out here letting us know it's nighttime, um, we see that the zooplankton have migrated up at nighttime. And during the day, they've migrated down. So down during the day. And you can see not much light penetrates that deep depths during the day. So they are going down to where it's dark but they go up during the night. 
So the question is, why do zooplankton do that? Phytoplankton basically stay up here with some little exceptions. But zooplankton do this migration at night, they're up at the top, and then when day starts to come in the early morning, they go down. And then when it becomes evening time again and the sun's gone down, they travel up again. So why? There's two main reasons why they would do this. And what we're going to see is they're, they're pretty, I mean, it's pretty logical reasons here. Uh, the first reason that they're doing this is they want to get up to the surface to eat the uh, phytoplankton. So that's one of their food sources, right? These phytoplankton are um, uh, going through photosynthesis. They become very, very plentiful and the zooplankton move up and eat these phytoplankton. And I just got a map here of, um, of San Francisco and Monterey Bay. And in the green, these are um, phytoplankton blooms. So the phytoplankton's always there, but sometimes you get these massive amounts of phytoplankton and you can see them from space. They're these big green areas uh, that are taken from satellite images. Um, you can see these all the time in different parts of the world. But there's another reason besides just coming up to eat. Why do they go down? Well, they're going to go down to uh, avoid predators. If you look at this food web, you see uh, zooplankton here, phytoplankton down here, and the arrows point to what eats them. So phytoplankton get eaten by zooplankton. But look at all the things that eat zooplankton. This bull minnow, silver side, this weak fish, this Manhattan, whatever that is. But there's all these little fish in the ocean that eat these zooplankton. So these are their predators. And these fish rely on sunlight and they're up near the surface and they'll eat any of those things that they can come across. So the zooplankton go down during the day to avoid predators. And thus you get this up and down movement through the water column of these zooplankton. Um, only recently discovered, uh, this is not something that has been known for hundreds of years. This is something that was discovered in the last hundred years. Um, probably, I mean, even less than that, really. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.